viewer request. I like Bible games and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. When something comes in and it's pretty lame, big thing like this, you say, what? No. Bible trivia is one of those Christian games. And, and being that I'm, I'm, I'm somewhat of a Bible scholar myself, I actually was curious. And when this one was recommended, I said, hey, let's check it out. So, Bible trivia for PlayStation 2. Good game, bad game, history lesson? Let's go. Bible trivia starts out with, hey, guess what? You choose your character, and you've got the whitest kids here. All right, these white, okay, oh, you do have the Asian dude and the uh, black chick in the corner, but still, get the whitest kids here, okay? There's there's no diversity here, and, and given, given that Christianity is not culture-centric, I, I kind of hope that there would be more than this. Eh, let's go. We got we got a cowboy. Let's play as the stinking cowboy, right? Texas, a red state. Once you pick your character, you, you you enter your name and go straight into the game, which is do unto others. In this case, before they can do to you. Way the game plays out is okay. So there are several there are several rounds, and you have to you have to either beat everyone at the beginning of the game or you need to beat them in the Garden of Eden. Okay? So there's two chances you have to beat your opponents. Okay? And it starts out with a whole mess of stuff. So you've got trivia games where it'll throw random random trivia from the Old Testament at you. You've got you've got your um, challenge games which are basically like Smash Brothers, Mario Party, whatever. Basically saying, hey, Let's have everyone battle each other by completing certain mini games to win. Then you've got your Ken Commandments. And commandments are basically, hey, you shall receive points. And then you've got your blessings from heaven. So it's interesting the way that they put in a lot of Christianese. And if you don't know what Christianese is, it's it's actually a derogatory term used for the language people have put together uh, to sound Christian, but what it is is they really just, they, they really are just trying to trying to make things sound less less common and more like it's you know holy than it really is. So to dumb it all down, you got your mini games, you got your trivia, you got your steal points from others, and you got your bonus points rounds. That's really what it boils down to. Trivia games. This is the most straightforward. Trivia from the Old Testament pops up. Can you answer it? Can you be the first to answer it? I've got no problems with this here. This is straightforward. This is this is what I would expect in a Bible game. In fact, I was hoping this was the game. I was hoping this was the game. But uh, I guess that's not all. Next, you have your steel points. And so this is the commandments. And so what happens is, is thou shalt, thou shalt get points from, and you can get points from the board leader, you can get points from heaven, which just means you're warded, and then you can get points from uh, everyone. So you're either stealing from people, or by some random chance, you know, you're being blessed. But mostly you're going to be stealing from people. That's commandment nine, guys. You're already telling people to break it. On top of that, you have the the, this, the do on the others round is basically kind of it's it's kind of funny because what you're doing is you're playing the round for someone else. It's usually for the player with the lowest score, so it's like a charity round in a way. And I hate the coat of many colors, which is basically, hey, let's uh, pull the plunger, and if you drop it in the right one, the whole thing is is that why do I want to give someone else a chance to beat me in this game? When they're just going to have a chance to beat me anyway at the end of the game. So, the way this works is, ball goes in, whatever you get, fine. If you double up in the same area, so if you get two balls in the 300, they nullify each other, and then they don't get the points for that. Cool. I try and make sure they get as few points as possible. Challenges. Challenges, uh, this, this is where it's... it's 
It tries. It tries. Okay? So you go from stuff like Jacob's Ladder, which is basically DDR in a way. So what are you doing? Up, down, left, right, and you're just hitting the arrows based on whatever direction it points. And if you can respond quicker than everyone else, you climb higher and higher and higher and higher. Straight up you fly. Well, I'm sorry. That's not Christian music. They play something else. Uh, like, blessed be the name of the Lord or something. It's all Christian music, too, by the way. It's not that it's bad Christian music. It's just that it's all Christian music in this game for the rounds. Uh, so, <laughs> UMG has issues with me posting these games. Furthermore, the game also has it where you're playing, you're playing, uh, like, this weird snake. Snakes are flying, and the snakes are squiggling, and those don't look like snakes, and I don't need to use imagination to make jokes here. Okay? I don't need to use imagination to make jokes here. This is just, this is weird. I have a hard time aiming it, and it's just, ah. Speaking of weird and, and just horrible games, David versus Goliath, guys. You're making me choose up and down. This is like those skill cranes, okay? The ones that you always find at like a, a, a restaurant or something. Let's get the fluffy. I've got an up button and a right button. Okay, hold the up. It stops. Hold the left. It stops. And then hope it's good, right? Eh. And it sucks because in order to reload every time, you have to go back and you have to wait for it. And I never got the hang of this one. This one, this one really, really tried my patience. And the computer was just like, oh, hey, there's a Philistine. Hit him with the rock. There's a Goliath. Hit him with the rock. There's a Philistine. Rock. Rock, 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 and it was just, come on, guys. Oh, no human in their right mind would be that proficient at this game. Because it sucks. They do a myriad of other ones, and it just it just really gets to be this wash of, why are we doing this? Why are you guys making us play these weird games, and you're throwing some Bible theme on it? Like, you're giving us the creation account while we're shooting marbles. Okay. It just, it seems forced more than anything. It seems very forced. Uh, like I said, the trivia is the most natural part of this game. So I would have liked to see more of that and less of this stuff. And it, <laughs> walls of Jericho, let's get a chariot race, guys. Come on. Animal cruelty, whip the horses. Right? Oh my goodness. And to top it all off, it doesn't matter what place you're in. You could be player one, or you could be player four. And it doesn't matter if you're in first place or in last place score-wise. They will randomly assign you a different quarter of the screen to play in. So you have to find your character. Why? Why? Who thought this was a good idea? I got lost the first three times I played until I started to realize that, hey, that's not, I'm player one, but that's not my character in the upper left corner. Ah! This game was more frustrating than anything. And there, there, there is a verse where it says, thou shalt not use diverse wagers. Diverse weight, excuse me. Um, basically, what's being said here is, is don't cheat anyone. Don't cheat, right? And when it came to this game, the computer cheats. Cheats so bad. So here we are, and I am clearly a few thousand over the next place and we're playing the garden of eden which is this is option number two to win the game right so you, you may build up all your points and i'm the clear winner and what happens in the garden of eden she picks every single fruit to get the lead nobody has ever done that i have never seen a human do this on this game it's like the game feels it must win. 
It cheats for crying out loud. The game is cheating. The game is programmed in such a way where the player will not win unless playing against other players. This is crap, guys. This is crap. Oh, and by the way, you get this thing called the Wrath of God. And I figured out a pattern to it at one point. But it's funny because every time the Wrath of God hits, it knocks a person's it knocks a person all the way back down to zero points for the round. And so the computer would figure out just how to send me the wrath of God every time. Frustrating. Is this the right game for you? Is this the right game for you? No. No, no. I want to find a good Christian game that I can share with my family. This is not it. Guys, there's, there's a reason people have this perception of Christian games sucking. And it's stuff like this. And I haven't even gone over all the issues with the animation. Hey, we've come here to show you a game. Yeah! There's a reason. I want to see better games coming out from Christian developers. Because this, no. I've only heard of one good game. And that was Guitar Praise. Which was DDR, oh, excuse me, uh, Guitar Hero, but set with Christian music. That's it. And that's not a hard format to screw up. So this right here, bad, 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 bad game. No biscuit. Shut up, Shane. Yep. I can't recommend this one to anyone. This is going on my shovel of shame list. Morally speaking, I really can't find much that I could say bad about this game. Um, unless you're opposed to Christianity as a whole, then obviously you would have issues with it. Uh, but pretty much it keeps everything tame. I mean, the worst you're doing is kicking idols into soup. Running from lions. So, yeah, not a whole lot. It's all cartoony. Uh, but the downside of it is, though, is that, like I said, you know, it's, it's based around a single religion. So if you have opposition to that, obviously you wouldn't want your kids playing. So, hey, MoleGamer, MoleGamer.com. Facepalm for this one, but still. Y'all, comments below as always. And don't forget the uh, support link below as well. I look forward to seeing you back next time with something better than this. Thanks for watching.